Alright, so today we are looking at Alpha Evolve from Google DeepMind. I know I'm a bit late to the party since it appeared more than a week ago, but honestly, this is one of those papers that's worth diving deep into, even if you are not the first to cover it. So, to put it simply, Alpha Evolve is basically an evolutionary algorithm that uses large language models to discover new algorithms and make actual scientific discoveries. And when I say discoveries, I mean like actual improvements to decades old mathematical problems. The basic idea is pretty straightforward. You give it some initial code and an evaluation metric, and then it uses LLMs to evolve this code over time. But here is the thing, unlike previous works like fun search, this doesn't just evolve a single function. It evolves entire code bases. Look at this comparison. Fun search could only handle like 10 to 20 lines of Python code. Alpha Evolve, hundreds of lines, any programming language, and it can run evaluations for hours on accelerators. That's a massive difference in scale. The architecture is actually quite elegant. You've got this distributed pipeline where the prompt sampler takes programs from a database, builds rich prompts with context and previous solutions, feeds them to the LLMs, where they are using Gemini 2.0 Flash and Pro, and then the LLMs generate code modifications as diffs. These results get evaluated and good solutions go back into the code base. Now, here is where it gets really interesting. They apply this to matrix multiplication, which is like the fundamental operation in computing. For multiplying 4x4 matrices, Strassen's algorithm from 1979 used 49 multiplications, and for 56 years, nobody improved this, but Alpha Evolve found a way to do it with 48 multiplications. That's actually a pretty big deal. And they also improved other 14 different matrix multiplications. Now, look at what the system came up with. It's adding discretization laws to encourage integer or half integer values. It's using gradient noise for exploration, cyclical annealing, and these aren't trivial changes. And also, Alpha Evolve didn't tackle only matrix multiplication. It also tackled open mathematical problems. It improved bounds on autocorrelation inequalities, found better sphere packings for the kissing number problem in 11 dimensions, and even improved Erdos minimum overlap problem. These are problems mathematicians have been working on for decades. Now here is what really caught my attention. They use this to optimize Google's own infrastructure. Look at these scheduling heuristics for their data centers. It's literally just a few lines of math, but it recovers 0.7% of Google's fleet wide compute resources that would have otherwise been wasted. At Google scale, that's enormous. They also optimize their Gemini kernel engineering, getting 23% speed up on matrix multiplication and 1% overall training time reduction. And they even used it to optimize TPU circuit design. So Gemini is literally optimizing its own training process through Alpha Evolve. The ablation study is also pretty convincing. You can see that each component, the evolution, the context in prompts, the meta prompts, using powerful LLMs, they all contribute significantly to performance. And if you remove any of them, then you get worse results. Now, there are also some limitations to this technology. The big one is that you need an automated evaluation function. You can't use it for problems where you need human evaluation or physical experiments. But for mathematics, computer science, system optimization, basically anywhere you can write an evaluation function, this works. Finally, I would like to come back to this metric multiplication result, because breaking a 56-year-old algorithm using AI isn't a trivial problem. And that's the kind of thing that makes you think about what's possible when you combine modern LLMs with classical algorithm techniques. Also, the fact that it's already being used in production at Google, optimizing real systems and saving real resources shows this isn't just a research curiosity. This is practical AI for algorithm discovery. And personally, I think we are going to see a lot more of this approach in the future.